In the preceding movie, we configured the NPC character to travel towards a destination object using a nav mesh component in combination with an AI enemy script. In this movie, what I want to do is to configure the NPC to patrol across a range of different destinations. Now, one way we could do this is to select the destination object and duplicate that into an array many times so that we have many different destinations which become waypoints and then we can use a script file to traverse that array and select the different destinations. But in fact, there's another way to do this, and that is to select the single destination object that we have and to create an animation on that object that will move the destination to different places in the scene over time. Now to do this, I'm going to move up here to the window menu and select animation from this menu here or press Control 6 on the keyboard be careful that you do not choose animator, we want animation here. So I'm going to select animation and we get a free floating animation window appear. I'm going to drag and drop that down here into the project panel to get a better screen real estate so I can see what I'm doing here. And now I'm going to make sure that the destination object is selected here in the hierarchy panel because this is the object that we want to animate. And I'm going to press the button here that says create. And when I do that, I get a dialogue asking me where do I want to save the animation data. So I'm happy with this folder here, which is the line of sight folder. And I'm going to name this animation anim destination like so, and press save on the menu here. That will create a completely new animation file. And notice in the object inspector that an animator component has been configured for the object. Now I need to choose what I want to animate here, and I want to animate the transform component. So to do that, I'm going to move down to the animation window and choose add property. When I do this, I'm going to expand the transform component and then add the position field into the animator window here. And by default, it creates two keyframes, one at the beginning and one at the end of the animation. And these keyframes are identical. I want to leave them as identical because actually I want the destination object to end in the place at which it began to create a kind of seamless behavior here. So at this point in the animation, I'm going to click and drag the time slider to this position. And I'm just going to change the position of the destination object. I'm going to do this from a top view here. So I'm going to click on the green arrow for the top vector and just move the position of this object to, well, maybe somewhere over here. And then I'm going to move along to a different point in the timeline and change the position to, well, somewhere over here. And I'm going to select this point and maybe change the position further to somewhere over here. And well, I'm going to leave that at this position here. So this is going to complete my animation. Now notice as I move the time slider that the destination object is interpolating between those keyframes. And I don't want to do that. I want to make the destination object jump to particular points. So I need to adjust the curves here. So I'm going to move down to the bottom of this animation window and select the Curves button. When I do that, you can see the curves appear for the different animation fields. And I'm particularly interested here in the red and the blue fields, the X and the Z fields here. So I'm going to grab some of these control handles. For example, I'm gonna grab this one and right click. And it appears just outside the recording window, but I'm going to choose right tangent and then choose constant. And when I choose constant for that field, you can see that we get the same value until that keyframe happens and then an abrupt change. I'm going to do the same for the blue axis here. So right click, choose right tangent and then choose constant. And I'm going to repeat this process for all of these keyframes to make sure that we're getting this constant change in these keyframe values. So off screen, I've gone and set all of these keyframe tangent handles to constant. And you can see in the graph editor, this very rigid and straight line arrangement here. Now, as I move the time slider across the animation, you can see the effect that this has. It just makes the destination object suddenly spawn into these different places. Well, let's give this a try. So if I press play on the toolbar to play this animation, you can see that the destination is changing to all these different places. And well, the NPC looks kind of confused it doesn't know where to move to because the destination keeps changing. Well, we can fix this quite easily. I'm going to stop playback here and make sure that the destination object is selected here. And if I double click over here inside the controller field for the animator component, 
I can see the animation graph and by default the animation is being played. I'm going to select that here and I'm going to change the speed. Right now it's set at 1. I might change this to 0 0.1 and press enter on the keyboard. I don't know that this value is right but it does need to be slowed down. So I'm going to go back to the scene tab and press play. And when I do this, you can see now that there's a longer period of time between the destination changes and this patrol route is looking much better. I may go ahead off screen and change the timings a little bit more, but overall this is looking much better.